Hello everyone, this is a Frugal Engineer, welcome to this Arduino tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can control an RGB LED from your Android smartphone using Bluetooth. This is the third video of a complete series where we explore the Bluetooth connectivity between the Arduino and Android. I will leave all the links to the previous videos in the description below. I like technology, programming and electronics, and I try to upload useful tutorials as often as possible. Please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future videos. In order to demo this Arduino project, I have developed my own Android application that connects via Bluetooth to the Arduino. Then the user can dynamically change the color of the RGB LED in the Android app. I won't get into much details in today's video about the source code of my Android application, however you will find the source code hosted on a public GitHub repository, just follow the link in the description. I might do a video in the future explaining the changes in my source code. Just to let you know, you don't need my app to test the RGB LED. I will also demo this project using a free Android app that is called Arduino Bluetooth Controller. And I am sure for iOS there are similar free applications. First, let's review the list of materials that we'll need for this project. We'll need the Bluetooth module HC05. If you want to get the full details of this Bluetooth module, please watch my previous video, link in the description below. We'll need as well one 1K ohm resistor, one 2K ohms resistor. For the RGB LED, I'm using this KY016. Uh, this particular LED, it has already integrated three uh, 150 ohm resistor, meaning that we will avoid uh, any kind of burnouts and we can connect it directly to the um, Arduino board. You can use any kind of RGB LED that you want, just keep in mind that you might need to use um, resistors to avoid any kind of burnout, uh, but you can check the documentation of that LED. We will need then a bunch of cables, the circuit breadboard to connect all the components and of course the Arduino board. Ok, so let's review now the integration diagram of this project. Uh, first, for the AG05 Bluetooth module, I won't get into much detail of the connections. Uh, as I said before, uh, you have the link in the description below from my previous video, where I explain with all details the connection that you need to do. Uh, just to let you know, for this project, uh, the connections are exactly the same. For the RGB LED, uh, as I said before, uh, this one has already um, some resistors integrated on the circuit so we don't need to use any extra resistors and we can connect directly to the Arduino uh, uh, board. Uh, the first one, the uh, ground obviously, uh, connected to the ground in the Arduino. And then the blue, green and red uh, outputs uh, from the uh, RGB LED goes directly connected to the Arduino board. Um, we are using the number 11, the number 10 and the number 9 pin outputs because those are the ones that we can uh, configure as a analog output, meaning that we can send a analog signals to uh, configure the output power of the LED in the different uh, main colors that we have. Uh, as I said before, you can use any other type of uh, RGB LED, just keep in mind that uh, you might need to use um, resistors to avoid any kind of burnout. Ok, so let's review now the Arduino source code. As you can see, it's quite simple. In a nutshell, what we do is we read from the Bluetooth stream the values to configure the LED. Those values are sent, of course, by the Android application. So we get this string from the Bluetooth serial input. My program, the first thing that we do is it will split those values in three variables. The first part will be the red, the second one will be the green, and the third element of that string will be the blue. I, all of those separated by a dot. Then I will tell the LED to configure its output, its light bright, depending on those values. So uh, the first, the red one, uh, because the value is a zero, uh, that particular color will be off. The second value, that is the one that represents the green, uh, we are telling the LED to, to have a bright of 50, meaning that the green, uh, the green light will be on, but only with a 50 um, 
a value. Uh, just to let you know, the, the range uh, that it allows us to configure is from 0 to 255. Uh, finally, the blue variable has a value of 255, meaning that the blue LED will, will be configured to the maximum output possible. Okay, so going back to my code, uh, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create this constant that will be assigned to the uh, pin red, pin green and pin blue variables. This will allow us to identify the um, outputs, the pin outputs. And then here on the setup, uh, we set uh, those, um, those pins as output. And in the case of the Arduino Uno, the output 9, the 10 and the 11 um, are the ones that will allow us to configure them as uh, an analog exit. Uh, if you are using any other type of uh, Arduino board, uh, it might be different ones like the Arduino Mega, but for the Arduino Uno, uh, those are the ones that we are using. Uh, then we start here the uh, serial red. Uh, this is important to read the values from the uh, Bluetooth. And here what we do this uh, while loop, what it will do is it will read all the um, inputs from the um, Android app and it will build a full string. Uh, as long as we have elements on the serial input, we will read it. And then um, if we, when we finish reading, if it's not, um, if, if it's not this, um, this uh, symbol, uh, we will then generate this element here. Um, after that, uh, what we will do is um, this code here uh, splits the splits the, the, the reading because I, as I just talked before, this is the kind of a string that we will read, uh, three numbers separated by a by a dot, uh, meaning that then we need to split it. Uh, this might not be the best and the most efficient way to do it, but it's the, the way that I came with. Uh, please, if you have a best way to do it, uh, feel free to add in the comments. And basically what we do here is we get uh, the, the values in integers and then we, um, we write those values on the, uh, with the analog write. Again, this is why it's important to use those uh, specific pin outputs. And then we just uh, write down those values on the on the serial um, on on the um, serial output, uh, just in case we need to uh, we um, uh, we want to debug it. Uh, then finally, we just uh, set this value here, and then we set a delay of one second. This is not necessary to be honest, but uh, could be useful. So now let me talk about the Android application that I have developed. First, I want to say that you do not need to program your own application. You can use the free Android app, Arduino Bluetooth controller. I will show it during the demo. As I said, I won't get into much detail in the code, but I just wanted to let you know that this app is based on the original Android application that I already spoke about in my previous video. You are more than welcome to check that video if you want to get the full details. Uh, of course, I will leave the link to GitHub if you want to download my code and test it yourself, but I won't uh, get into much detail uh, today in this video. I might do a video in the future explaining all the different changes that I have done. I will just mention that I have two main activities for my app. The first one connect to the HC05 module and the second activity allows the user to dynamically configure the RGB lead using uh, slides. We will see how it works in the next part of the video that is the demo. Ok, let's jump now to the last part of the video, the demo. My application is really easy to use, we just need to follow these steps. First, we list the connected Bluetooth devices to my phone. If the HC05 Bluetooth module appears on the list, then the button to connect to it will be enabled. Then, if the connection is successful, the last button will be enabled and then we will be able to jump to the next activity. And here, you can use the slider to dynamically change the color of the LED. You can see that my app has a small sample of the expected color, so it's easier to use. As I said, you can also get the free Android application Arduino Bluetooth controller from the Google Store. We just need to connect to the Arduino Bluetooth module. If it asks you for a password, it's just 1234. Then we select the terminal mode. And then we just write down the color codes. I will leave here on the screen the different combination of colors. 
And of course, you can do then a combination of the main, main colors if you want. Well, this is everything I had in mind for this video. I hope you like it. Please, if you enjoy it, press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Any feedback is a really good motivation for me to continue working on more videos. Thank you so much, until the next video.